Pornography and social networking seem to be the two biggest drivers of both traffic and commerce on the internet. So let's talk about where they intersect. That's right, it's time we discuss Hello Porn. The two most prominent articles we've run here on the subject were this one on Microsoft's position regarding nudity in what used to be called SkyDrive, and this one on the impact that Tumblr pornography might have on Yahoo in general. Microsoft and Yahoo took diametrically opposed positions on the topic, and I hadn't given this much thought in a while until, in this order, over the span of a few days, Google decided to ban nudity on Blogger, and then they backtracked. And then upstart social network Ello announced that they thought keeping and posting nudity was a free speech issue. Well, bullet point two is the most interesting of the three. I can make a case either way for whether you should allow controversial content on a site you run. Is censorship a good idea? No, not in a socially connected, internet-obsessed world. On the other hand, you don't need lawsuits or worse from people who live in places where the accepted norms are different than yours. Ello is, well, you're going to discount them as a little more than cute. When Ello burst onto the scene last year, they got a lot of attention as sort of an anti-Facebook, and since then they've all but disappeared. Want proof of the latter? The link we use above on the subject of Ello's position on Ello porn free speech brings up the Burlington Free Press as Google's number one search. Seriously? In between, though, is the fact that Google did a complete about-face in the span of just a few days. Google doesn't do that too often. Blogger was about to get censored, and then, well, not so much. What happened in between? Here's my guess. Google is afraid of WordPress, and they should be. It was over three years ago that WordPress decided to stop letting Google sell their advertising. Google is still Google. At most levels, they fear nobody. But WordPress is huge and getting bigger by the day. Remember that WordPress was actually created to give its CEO an alternative to Blogger, and connecting the dots gets easy and fast. And low porn may not matter at all to pretty much anyone, but Blogger's continued viability in the face of the WordPress onslaught certainly does to Google. You didn't see that one coming, did you? And Google didn't either. I'm the Answer Guy, and I'll be back.